Tony Swat and Master Armor, which is like the coolest job I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Yeah, I, I enjoy what I do. Well, you've been in the industry forever. What movies have you worked on? I, uh, well, a lot of them. One of my first ones was Hook, obviously, and we'll be talking about that. But I've done uh, Swords for Pirates of the Caribbean and uh, Master and Commander and recently for Thor and then Armor for oh. Sucker Punch and uh, tons of stuff that will be forthcoming that I can't not Every everybody movie. talk Every about. Every movie, right? Every <laughs> movie. A, a lot of them. Not all of them. A lot of them are done overseas where I don't get a part of it. But uh, most of the stuff made domestically out of California or um, based out of here I make. So when you're making weapons, I mean, what is your day-to-day -day job like? I mean, you just come out, come in here, forge a few swords. Uh, it could be anything. I mean, Monday I'm uh, reproducing a costume from a toy for Mattel for a walk-around character for Comic-Con. We just did a fitting for uh, a woman for a Wonder Woman costume that she'll be belly dancing in. I'm making a giant bear trap for a print ad and uh, uh, battle axes for like record stores. What's so, your favorite weapon to make? Uh, I enjoy making anything. It doesn't matter. I you mean, kind of like the, the ladies' outfits. <laughs> um, well, that's, yeah, well, that, that's, <laughs> that's not really a weapon. That's more of a weapon. Of, a, a it web, is a weapon. It is a weapon, a weapon of mass distraction. But, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I like that. It's my yeah. new favorite term. Yeah. So let's talk about the hook. This was made for the movie. Well, this one I made for myself after the movie. I did not get a film credit, so I videotaped the making of this hook. Uh, this is made out of sterling silver and forged steel with a detachable bayonet uh, fitting in here. So it locks in. I can put different attachments. And uh, How do you actually forge a hook? Uh, <laughs> what, was, what was the process of actually forging a piece like this? Well, I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm going to take a, a big bar of steel underneath the power hammer with a forge, a propane forge, heat it up and uh, smash it under the hammer and then bend it to shape and then I'll polish it up and you'll see how I make the hooks. Uh, in fact, I am making a series of these uh, to commemorate the 20th... Uh, and you're selling them so people can actually buy... You know, we have to check this out. You guys can actually buy this, right? Yeah, this is uh, what I'm offering. I'm only doing six more of these. I've done a few more prior to this. Um, this is made entirely in stainless steel as opposed to the sterling silver one for the movie. And it's uh, etched as opposed to uh, engraved. Uh, the engraving back in 91 was over $2,000 just to get this detail on here. Um, <laughs> these things are a couple grand to buy the whole thing. Uh, Can I know. touch it? Can I there play you with it? Yeah, oh, this on. one is, oh, it's a little, no, it's probably the same weight. I mean, these, similar, are, yeah. these, are, these are really heavy, very, very, very sturdy hooks. Yeah. Well, very cool. Thank you so much for You're talking welcome. to us today. This is a uh, bar of stainless steel right in here. Uh, the, the first piece for the hook was made out of mild steel. It was just carbon steel. It wasn't stainless. The ones that I'm offering for sale are made out of stainless, so they have better uh, uh, rust resistance. And this is a uh, propane forge. Stick it in there. Let that heat up a bit.
Oi, 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 oi. 